from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. Hi, this is Michael Halpern, sitting in for Tisha Bader, and here is the JBS News Update for Thursday, May 19th, 2022. There were elections in Lebanon, and Hezbollah turned out to be the big loser. Final results are in, and Hezbollah has lost significant power. Hezbollah won 31 seats in this election. In the last election, they had only 29. So how did they lose? Here's how. Hezbollah's partners from the past parliament lost significant seats in this election. Because of that, Hezbollah, despite a gain of two seats, lost power. In bigger terms, this means that Hezbollah has lost control of the Lebanese parliament. It's actually good news for everyone except Hezbollah. In Lebanon, for the past several months, we've witnessed numerous signs and signals that average citizens of Lebanon are expressing anger at Hezbollah. There were repeated claims that Hezbollah was putting the rest of Lebanon at serious risk. And there were shouts that Hezbollah's priorities and Iran's priorities are not Lebanon's priorities. Citizens of Lebanon were publicly saying that Hezbollah keeps poking Israel and that when Israel strikes back, Israel strikes and hits all Lebanese, not only Hezbollah. Through their votes, the people of Lebanon made their point, and they made their point loud and clear. It's called Operation Chariots of Fire. It's the largest military drill in the history of Israel. Quote, There won't be a unit that doesn't take part in this drill, unquote, explained IDF spokesman Brigadier General Ron Kochav. Operations Chariots of Fire will involve multi-fronts and real-time decision-making, operations by political leaders and military general staff. Of course, thousands upon thousands of soldiers will also be involved. Tensions in Israel are very high and getting higher with each successful thwarted terrorist attack. This drill will involve ground, sea, and air forces. While the IDF spokesman did not mention computers, the most important element in chariots of fire will be the high-tech response. For Israel, the most important and dangerous front now is actually in the north. Hezbollah is in possession of over 150,000 rockets and missiles, and there needs to be a coordinated Israeli response in the event of an attack. The stated purpose of the operation, Operation Chariots of Fire, is to improve cooperation between the IDF government ministries, security organizations, and civilian bodies, including their capabilities to transition from routine to a full emergency scenario with multiple areas that are constantly evolving. The multi-front attack is a realistic scenario. Israel needs to be prepared. A whale was recently sighted off the coast of Haifa. This is big news. It was the first whale ever spotted off the coast of Israel. It was a massive sperm whale. The sighting was photographed by a graduate student named Kim Kobo, and the whale was given the name Kim because she was the first person to see it. Kim, the grad student, was part of a group of marine scientists. After spotting the whale, the marine scientists contacted colleagues from other countries around the Mediterranean in hope of gaining information about this whale. Instead, they received confirmation that this was the first sighting of this whale and certainly any whale in Israel. They are now cataloging the whale and identifying it through scars and other indicators. About her namesake, Kim Kobu said, it's a nice feeling. It's especially exciting that I was part of this study. Most of our lab members have dolphins named after them but I had the honor of having a sperm whale taking my name. According to Aviad Shanin, the head apex predators investigator at the University of Haifa of Mars Khan Marine Research, he said, quote, sperm whales are on the verge of extinction in the Mediterranean and their population is in rapid decline. He added, we hope that our discovery will show that the Haifa area serves as an important habitat for them We hope that Kim will be the first on a long list of Israeli whales, unquote. This is one whale of a story. 
And now, a look at this evening's programming on JBS. At 7, it's Talmud study. At 7.30, Eli Kohanim speaks with Nathan Sales, former Under Secretary of State for Civilian Security, Democracy, and Human Rights of the United States, who shares his perspective on the threat of terror attacks from the IRGC or from Hezbollah on the United States and more. At 8, Jonathan Tobin is joined by Commentary Magazine editor John Podhoritz. At 10, a celebration of the 50-year anniversary of Women in the Rabbinate. And coming up next, it's Good Week Israel. This is Micah Halpern and the JBS News Update. I want to wish everyone a good evening.